my dear brother and sister fraternal greetings to you from the carmelite fathers and warm welcome to carmel light reflection on the day's gospel it's the 5th of april friday of the fourth week of lent it's also the first friday of the month the holy gospel according to john chapter 7 verses 1 to 2 then the 10th verse then 25 to 30 At that time Jesus went about in Galilee He would not go about in Judea because the Jews sought to kill him Now the Jews feast of tabernacles was at hand But after his brethren had gone up to the feast then he also went up not publicly but in private some of the people of jerusalem therefore said is not this the man whom they seek to kill and here he is speaking openly and they say nothing to him can it be that the authorities really know that this is the christ yet we know where this man comes from and when the christ appears no one will know where he comes from so jesus proclaimed as he taught in the temple you know me and you know where i come from but i have not come of my own accord he who sent me is true and him you do not know i know him for i come from him and he sent me so they sought to arrest him but no one laid hands on him because his hour had not yet come the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ my dear friends if we want to live a godly life we will be persecuted we don't know the severity of this persecution but we do know the certainty of it we get a similar message from today's liturgy the first reading taken from the book of wisdom chapter 2 verses 1 then 12 to 22 gives us an idea of how the godless or wicked people will in their misguided reasoning condemn the innocent man and in the gospel we find how jesus the son of god had to face persecutions from evil and wicked people for being just and righteous jesus repeatedly took his place publicly 
amid ferocious opposition and boldly proclaimed the word of god this led to some confusion in the minds of many people on the one hand the people were aware that jesus had become a target of their religious leaders and yet he went about openly and speaking freely and without fear being certain that he would be condemned and persecuted what made him to speak fearlessly what is that gave him the courage first his relationship with his father jesus relationship with his father jesus knew that the father loves him he had total confidence that the father would protect him fully until his hour came to suffer second his knowledge of being sent by the father to proclaim god's word jesus knew that he had been bestowed full authority by the father third his heart burnt with zeal rather than covered due to self preservation and finally his love love has no room for fear rather perfect love casts out all fear first john chapter 4 verse 18 perfect love casts out all fear jesus knew that his mission his purpose in life would entail sacrifice and suffering and culminate with death on the cross but that would not be the end his hour would crush defeat with victory condemnation with pardon and freedom and death with glory and everlasting life may our lives be my dear friends not like others so that like christ we too may bear witness to the kingdom of god let us pray today my dear friends as we find in the bible diary is the birthday of rovina pearl paul from balkunje and it's the golden jubilee of life of deris pinto from bengaluru we wish them happy birthday and we pray god's choices blessings on them we also remember all our benefactors our well wishers those who have contributed their lenten sacrifice to the education fund those who have adopted our seminarians as their spiritual sons all those people who have sent their prayer requests those who are great support in a pastoral and missionary work those who are in need of our prayers those who are in difficulty the sick and the aged students who are writing their exams those who are preparing for the exams also for the success of the general elections in india for the rain this summer 
Father. May our life in Christ be authentic, even in the midst of persecution. Amen. Have a great Friday, my dear friends. May Almighty God bless you. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I am Father Stephen Pereira, Carmelite Priest. And my WhatsApp number is 948126329. 948126329. Today is Friday, a day of fasting and mortification. And as I told you in my earlier reflections that we the Carmelite Fathers have opened schools in remote villages especially of Uttar Karnataka the North Karnataka and children are finding difficult to have three meals a day and in that case you can imagine their difficulty to have a quality education so in this regard we have planned to have an education fund and we welcome you to contribute your Lenten sacrifice not anything else but just what you have saved or what you have planned to sacrifice this Lent to this noble cause so that we can bring light into the lives of these children and if you wish to do so you can whatsapp me and then I will give you further details let me repeat my number 948126322 and we are grateful to all those who have done their contribution already God bless you see you tomorrow bye bye